Alors, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Terminator. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Alan Taylor, réalisateur. Emilia Clarke, Sarah Connor. <laughs> well, nice to meet you, as they say. C'est à vous la première question. Micro tout de suite. Voilà. Bonjour. <laughs> All right. So this is a, a two-part question. How exciting or daunting was it for you to embrace a film which has such a cult film? Who's going to go first? You go first. Okay, yeah. ladies no, first. No, no, no. <laughs> shouldn't they, shouldn't the, the director should go first uh, for that one. Okay, I'll go first. Um, it was definitely daunting to begin with, that's for sure. But that's part of the reason why I wanted to, um, to be a part of this project, because I love, as an actor, to be able to kind of push and challenge myself. And what better way to do that than with the mantle of Terminator and the incredible franchise that already existed. But then the joy came when the scripts that we got to work with were so, for, especially for Sarah, so far removed from the originals in terms of her backstory. So I had um, ample opportunity to kind of um, change and sort of have the, have the space and room to grow um, as myself, the actor within Sarah Connor, and change slightly what had happened before whilst maintaining the spirit that Cameron and, um, and Linda Hamilton had created with the original ones. That. Um, yeah, well, in, in preparation for this role, I did, I did re-watch the first two movies. Um, but that was mainly when we were sort of going through the audition process. As soon as I got the script and saw the differences, I kind of felt it was probably most helpful for me to stop watching those <laughs> and uh, start trying to do, start trying to kind of create my own Sarah Connor. Um, and yeah, um, Lena and I did have many a funny discussion. Uh, David and Dan, the, uh, the showrunners on Game of Thrones, are still keen for us to have a fight. I'm not sure who would win. <laughs> but that's, that's about the extent of it. A second. Because what's interesting here is, is that what training did she need to do to change from the character of Game of Thrones to the Terminator movie to the character Sarah Connor? Because there was a lot of, I watched personally, a lot of training in many different areas that went in. Do you want to talk about that? Or is this like a secret? <laughs> <laughs> um, um, yes, well, Arnold, to answer your question. Um, there, well, Sarah Connor has a lot of guns. Uh, Daenerys Targaryen does not. So I did a lot of gun training. That was one of them. And then in doing that, I realized that I wasn't quite strong enough to carry said guns <laughs> for 22 takes up hills and firing grenade launches. So I had to do, I had to do some strength training to get, my, um, to get my body in the place that it should be for Sarah to be able to do the, uh, yeah, the best badass job that I could. That maybe on Game of Thrones, I kind of get to sit back and watch my dragons do the hard work. <laughs> then did you do any change of your diet? <laughs> Um, yeah, I did. I did. I, I say it. <laughs> I, I absolutely did. Um, I definitely, apparently, muscle is built from protein, so that was a that was an injection into my diet. Did you write that down? <laughs> um, and uh, and just genuinely having enough energy to to last our filming days, which were incredibly long and incredibly physical. Um, and so, yeah, watching what I was eating in terms of that kind of helping was, was another big change from my normal. Alors voilà, c'est vrai que... Euh